All right, so this is the checkout page for the free freelancing guide. And so what this is gonna do, you're gonna watch a quick video and then we're actually gonna go through the curriculum, which I'll share with you uh, in just a moment. Uh, so once you sign up down here, you just click I'm ready and it's totally free, no strings attached, no credit card, nothing like that. It's not a trial, it's free forever. Uh, so just so you know, no strings attached. I'm not trying to like trick you. Um, this is what, what this is meant for is just to be informative, to help you understand if Salesforce freelancing, freelancing is something you want to do now. Maybe it's something you want to do in the future. Maybe it's not for you, but it's something you could share with a friend. There's so much opportunity here and we just want to make sure that we share this with you. Um, the other thing is the five day Salesforce challenge. So maybe you take a look at this and you do the free guide and you go, you know what? I don't think I'm ready to freelance. I still need to land my first Salesforce job and understand what Salesforce is all about. Great, check out the five day Salesforce challenge. That will tell you exactly uh, how to get started with your Salesforce career. And then maybe you come back later and say, okay, I've got my feet wet, I understand Salesforce. Now I think I wanna try my hand at some freelancing, uh, pick up some side clients or whatever the case may be. So once you're into the uh, program or once you click you know, the I'm ready button and you, you, you log in there, uh, this is where you're gonna be taken. So uh, what is freelancing and can I do it? We're gonna walk through a 20 minute video here talking about the really the prerequisites to being a freelancer, what you should expect uh, yourself to have as far as skills go uh, in order to consider freelancing uh, as a feasible opportunity. We're gonna walk you through how to find your first clients and sort of what to be aware of when you're getting your first client. So a lot of people say, well, how am I supposed to find clients? And then they just sort of give up and we don't want anybody to give up. We want you to understand how to think about finding clients. And this is all totally free. So just keep that in mind. And we just want to help you mentally wrap your mind around, how do I think about finding clients? How do other people find clients? How could I potentially build a business off of this? And whether you start today or you start two years from now, I just want you to be informed about what your options are and how you should be thinking about, you know, the work you're doing today in order to prepare yourself for a freelancing career tomorrow. So we'll walk you through uh, how to find those first clients. Then we're even going to take you through how to brand your business. Um, so some tips and tricks to get your branding off the ground to make sure that, you know, these are things you could start today. Even if you don't want to find clients, you could go ahead and start branding yourself in ways that are going to help you stand out when the day comes that you are ready to start finding clients. Then we're going to take you through how much freelancers make. And you'll see here, it's anywhere from, you know, maybe $30 up to $200, uh, and even more. Uh, but that's all about the skills you have and and whether those are specialized skills or they're entry level skills and things like that. So we'll walk you through the nuances there and, and help you understand what you should expect to charge. So some people come in and they hear, you know, some of us make a hundred plus, two hundred plus dollars an hour, and they think, well, I'll just be a freelancer and make all this money. And it's true long term, but you do have to build the foundation uh, and build the brand for your business, and then you can start charging, you know, higher rates. But there there is a floor you have to come in on. Uh, so just keep that in mind and we're going to help you understand that. Then we're going to take you through the most common issues that freelancers face. So, you know, you can see these listed right here, income instability, finding clients, not knowing what to charge, starting a company, documentation needed to complete projects, uh, how to fit this into your schedule uh, as it stands right now. And then I'll walk you through some freelancer success stories. Now, these are all people who have, you'll see this is linked up here. So um, there's no obligation here. We're not going to call you. We're not going to, you know, hound you with emails or anything like that, but there is a full freelance course that really walks you through everything with downloadable templates and all that fun stuff. Uh, and you can check that out here. So if you want to just take the freelance program, uh, the free one, and you're not interested in the, the paid program, that's totally fine. Uh, just don't, you know, don't buy this program, but you still have access to this totally free. And we'll walk you through some, uh, success stories from people who have worked, uh, overseas and work clients in the United States, people who have full-time jobs and families, but they still find time for clients on the side, people who uh, never had a Salesforce job first, they had no Salesforce skill coming into it, and they landed clients coming out of the gates. And these are all people who have used the full freelance program uh, linked up at the top uh, to find success in their uh, freelancing Salesforce careers. So uh, just something to check out. And again, the whole purpose of this is to be informative and to help people understand that the problem I'm seeing is that people are giving up 
on their freelancing opportunities before they ever get started because they can't quite wrap their head around how it works. So that is the purpose of this free freelancing guide is to help you wrap your head around how Salesforce freelancing works so that you can make an informed decision of, no, I don't want to be a Salesforce freelancer because of this, or yes, I do want to be a freelancer, but maybe not right now. Or you know what? I've got the skills I need based on the information I know. I'm going to go ahead and get started today. So it's completely up to you. And if you don't find value uh, in this for yourself right now, if you wouldn't mind, just you know, click share, grab the link to this video, share it with your community, put it on LinkedIn, put it on Facebook. Um, obviously, the more people who are informed about the opportunities that are right in front of them, the more that we can help people uh, really hit their full potential in their Salesforce careers. Thanks, everybody.